Well, I, I was drawn to the movie because it was about, it was so similar to, to the films that I grew up with that were both happy and sad in, in equal measure and not, and these days it seems like more and more films are either just romantic comedies and just comedies or just dramas, uh, but they're sort of afraid of mixing, mixing tones and it reminded me of uh, of parenthood and terms of endearment and, and you know it had a lot in common with those kind of films that were sort of making you laugh one moment and just felt so real the next and and then obviously hopefully you know uh, emotional but not overly sentimental the story itself is about two people uh, who go on a horrendous blind date uh, they're set up, they have, they each have a mutual best friend and they're, they're sort of set up at the top of the film and it opens with the blind date and we all know that blind date. Many of us have been on that horrible blind date and uh, it just goes more and more awry and uh, over the course of the credits we see how these two people because of whom their best friends are still sort of stuck in each other's lives and having to be around one another. Uh, their best friends, uh, due to some unforeseen and very tragic circumstances, uh, pass away early on in the movie and um, and uh, these two individuals uh, who started out despising one another are forced to raise their child, uh, raise their friend's child together as, a, as really as a testament to these two people that they loved. Uh, and, and over the course of the film, uh, as happens in these kind of movies, they, they fall in love themselves. Uh, but it's a process getting there and it's uh, hopefully a fun one. I think it brought a, a real wonderful sense of realism. Uh, we learned very quickly to let the cameras keep rolling and to just get what we can because, you know, any kind of baby reaction in a movie like that is going to be so, uh, so, so uh, natural and so uh, just organic to the scene. You don't know necessarily how that shot is going to work into the framework of the scene until you're in editing. And so um, I, I tried to, whenever possible, get the babies there early and, and everyone on set in the AD department, everybody was also, a, you know, a child caretaker. Uh, myself included and the actors included you know it's it's you want to be very delicate with the kids and and not just uh but but so that they feel safe every day was you know just a blast on the set I, i've never really worked with i don't think an actor uh who uh, is as much of a savant in their art form as she is uh, she really, um, you know, uh, um, I would, we would rewrite scenes sometimes at the last minute and do an adjustment for whatever reason, and she'd look at it for about two seconds and throw it away and, and memorize it for the day, and I, I've never seen that kind of photographic memory for lines before, and, you know, I mean, after two takes, it was sometimes, you know, I realized after the first day, you know, she was on take two of something or three, I, I thought to myself, you, you have that brief period of time from when you say cut to when you approach the actor to think of like, how am I going to give this note or what am I going to say to them? And I, I was at day one or the second day where I walked over to her and I said, you know, I could make something up, you know, just to sort of feel like I'm more useful and you're more useful, but that was great. And let's go get the rest of the movie. He uh, is just an incredible uh, pro and a champ and just always has a great attitude and always, again, also like Katie, always comes prepared and ready to work and to blow people sort of away and uh, was wonderful with the kids. Uh, but really just, just, again, his comic timing and his dramatic timing. And I think in addition to all that, uh, you know, it's just these days you go to cast like these macho guys, you know, or the guy in a romantic comedy or romantic drama and there's this short list, you know, that people always sort of show you. And these are the three or four guys they think can do it all, you know. And half of them are not from America, you know. And it's so rare to get a guy's guy who, uh, again, feels like a guy's guy. That Like dudes would hang out with him and women would still uh, like him and, and, uh, and fit the, you know, sort of this kind of film. He's so inherently charismatic and likable. Uh, and, you know, the interesting thing of, of working with him in the movie was, you know, he would sort of kind of walk in and do a scene and kind of nail it. And it's it was I think the part uh, is very similar to him in that just what a nice guy he is and what a charming and nice guy Sam is in the film. Uh, and, you know, I think traditionally in these kind of movies, there's they're always that. But they're just, you know, there's something that they're not that the lead is. But he wasn't afraid sort of of just kind of being everything that he is. And the char it, it, it adds so much to the character.